but they're saying that that early warning system performed very well today. Warning scientists who are here at their desks, but not the public. It's important to note that the U.S. is still behind many other countries in funding and technology for an earthquake early warning system. Now, today's quake was a right lateral strike slip fault. The epicenter is seven miles below the ocean floor, 20 miles off Santa Cruz Island. Some background on the test system. The USGS has sensors not on the ocean floor, but on the Channel Islands, and those sensors alerted scientists here roughly 10 seconds before today's quake. Now, we spoke with Dr. Lucy Jones a little earlier, who told us that she's impressed with how the limited sensors near the epicenter worked, which would give enough time for people to get to safety. Some of those offshore stations weren't working, or the island stations, but we had enough. The, the, you know, we were able to determine if the earthquake is underway. You send it out ahead of time, and of course, out here in Pasadena, that's quite a, f well, a ways away from the earthquake, so we had plenty of warning. Earthquake, weak shaking, expected in eight seconds. And what you just heard there, that is the early warning system that scientists heard at their desks. They were also told that this was a weak quake, but they tell me that it was bigger than other earthquakes that this system has been tested on, so that made it significant.